So I was going online and I saw a YouTube post by this dude named Mr. Gadget, which I'll link it down below. And according to him, there is a workaround to get the Google related apps to work with the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. So I decided to test his method. So let's find out. Hey, what's up guys? Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV. So according to this Mr. Gadget, there is an app called Phone Clone where you can literally just clone from your current Android device to your brand new Huawei Mate 30 Pro. So yes, I've decided to download the clone app to see whether or not this works. Where the process of the cloning was pretty straightforward where you will need to determine which is the older device and also which is new within the app. So yes, in this case, the Mate 30 Pro is obviously the new device. Now, after you're done scanning the barcode from the other Android device with your Mate 30 Pro, select all the data and you're done. So is there anything missing? Now, the first thing that I noticed is that compared to my older Android device, there are some missing apps over there. So let's go one by one. Now, first would be the Gmail app. While there's no dedicated Gmail app, there is the native email app within the Mate 30 Pro. So let's go over to the email app, then tap Google. Then it will prompt you to redirect to the Google authorization page. Hit continue, add your email account and your password and you're done. So I have my Gmail set up. Now the next thing which is not there is the YouTube app. While there isn't a dedicated app which you can use to watch YouTube, but you can still watch YouTube through the browser by using either the native browser and even through the Chrome browser where speaking of which, it works fine as well. Then the Google Play Store has obviously gone missing where you'll need to use the Huawei App Gallery. Now looking at the apps available, the WhatsApp app works totally fine but I would recommend for you guys to make sure that you back up your WhatsApp before opening the WhatsApp in the Mate 30 Pro and restore it back just in case. Next, Spotify works perfectly fine with no issues on the playback. Waze also loads perfectly fine. And the Grab app which is very important for most people works perfectly fine as well. Then moving over to the social media apps like Instagram, Facebook and Twitter is also working great. Then marketplace apps like Carousel, Muda, Shopee, Lazada and eBay also is perfectly fine. Then looking at the banking apps like Maybank and also CIMB also loads perfectly. So is Telco apps like MyMaxis. Then looking at photo editing apps like Snapseed, VSCO and Lightroom is good as well. And lastly, I had no issues getting gaming apps to work on PUBG since it uses a Facebook app instead of Google on the Huawei Mate 30 Pro as well. So that's good news. Now, just in case you have any issues during the phone cloning, you can always get it via APK using your browser. And of course, there are many apps that you can download through the Huawei app gallery as well. So yes, in conclusion, this Mr. Gadget guy is indeed correct. And this method works perfectly around your regular apps to work with the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Now, if you have any apps that you like for me to test, do let me know at the comment section below. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like this video and found this video helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV. If you haven't done so, don't forget to hit the bell icon just next to it. Poof! To get notified for my future videos, thank you so much for watching. This is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in my next video.